last one. And so I wanted to record that because I wondered in my own mind what made this chickadee so special to outlast all of these other little birds. So my interest in phenology has sort of grown out of that as we came out to the land here at the shack and began to notice things, began to have the opportunity to notice things, began to, to record things. And over the course of time, what I have found is that there are some significant trends that, that we need to record. So the things that are important happen when you have the opportunity to think. And that comes in solitude and silence, in, in silence. giving yourself some time to, to reflect. So, as I would say to, to my friends and to, to my students, this thing about the land ethic is, is just been going over and over in my mind and I've just thought and thought about how, how to write that because it's become so, so, very, so very important. So I wanted to spend a few minutes um, sort of talking about uh, that in, it, in itself. Um, because what I want to be able to write in this San County Almanac, as I'm going to call it, because it comes from the San Counties of Wisconsin, worn out of old farms that other people have just thrown, thrown away and moved west or moved into the cities. But it's a chance to put into practice what I have worked all my life to, 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 to formulate. So, in writing this book, what I'm trying to do is put this information into a knowledge, into a way, into a knowledge, into a book that, that the average person, the common person, the average man and woman on the street could read and understand. Understand the importance of a developing environmental ethic. We didn't have to have one at the beginning. We didn't have to have a finished product at the beginning. But over a lifetime, through our experiences, we could develop an environmental ethic. And that's what I wanted to do in this book that I'm trying to read. And I have spent hours, both at my office over in Madison and out here on my favorite bench, trying to put into words what this, this environmental ethic really, really means. So I'm still working on it because I'm not through with it. I don't know exactly the right words to use. But what I have learned is that there were some important events in my life that everyone should share in that will help each of us develop that new relationship with, with the environment. And one of those things was the opportunity to experience the outdoors with my father and, and my grandfather. Because the three of us went hunting. We went fishing. But they taught me much more than just about killing animals. They taught me about the relationships about animals and plants and the water and the earth. And that time alone with those mentors, with those uh, my grandpa and, and, and my, my dad, gave me a whole different perspective that I would carry forward with me into the rest of my life. Something that I would not forget. And I've talked to other people in our line of work, in our line of work, and they all talk about the same sort of thing. That there was a significant event that allowed them to start thinking about the, the earth and the land in a different way. And so, on the stream, when I'm out fishing, I'm not always after that big fish. I'm really after a, 
a silent time to think about a thought. And when I go hunting with my dog's licks, I really pay attention to what he's doing much more than I'm interested in killing him. I'm interested in what does he see, what's happening all, all around me. So if we could for a moment just forget about Aldo Leopold for a second and talk about us today in this room and what's happening in the world around us. 